Hello everyone and welcome back to online spoken English class. In this module, we shall learn about conjunctions. Conjunctions are also called joining words. To understand, let us listen to these sentences carefully. Seema was very tired. She went to sleep. These are two independent statements which are trying to say that Seema was very tired. She went to sleep. Now, instead of using two sentences, we can express the same meaning in just one sentence. We can say, Seema was very tired, so she went to sleep. The new sentence is more impactful than the earlier two sentences. Yet, the meaning remains unchanged. Here, we have joined the two sentences using the word so. Conjunctions or joining words are words that join words or sentences. Let us now see how to use the conjunctions and, both and, not only but also. These conjunctions are used to join two or more statements which have related facts. Please look at these examples carefully. The first sentence is Mohan typed the report and the second sentence is He sent it to the newspaper. These are two independent statements. We shall join these two sentences using the conjunction AND. Please repeat this sentence after me. Mohan typed the report and sent it to the newspaper. Now, let us look at the second example. Here, the first sentence is Pavan is rich and the second is Pavan is generous. We shall join these sentences using the conjunction both and. Please repeat this sentence after me. Pavan is both rich and generous. Let us look at the next example. The first sentence is Vinay plays cricket and the second sentence is Vinay plays hockey. Here we shall use the conjunction not only but also to join these sentences. Please repeat this sentence after me. Vinay plays not only cricket but also hockey. Let us now see the use of the conjunctions but, still and yet. These conjunctions are used to join statements which express contrast or opposition. Let us look at some examples. The first sentence is I tried my best. 
and the second sentence is i could not open the cupboard you see that these two statements express contrast or opposition with each other instead of using these two sentences we can express it in just one sentence by using the conjunction but please repeat this sentence after me i tried my best but i could not open the cupboard similarly in the next example we have two contrasting statements geeta did not work hard she passed the exam now we shall join them using the conjunction still please repeat this sentence after me geeta did not work hard still she passed the exam in the same way the conjunction yet is used to join the next two sentences karan was arjun's enemy karan admired arjun's bravery please repeat this sentence after me karan was arjun's enemy yet he admired his bravery Let us listen to this conversation. Today is Vimal's first day in his college. Vimal and his class teacher talk to each other. Vimal, tell me about your parents. My father is a bank manager and my mother is a teacher. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one elder brother. and one younger sister oh and what does your elder brother do my elder brother is a doctor but he does not practice why does he not practice actually he is preparing for ias okay that's good let us now do a role play in this activity the conversation that you just listened to is on your screen you will hear the dialogues of the class teacher and you will say the dialogues of vimal after the beep vimal tell me about your parents how many brothers and sisters do you have oh and what does your elder brother do Why does he not practice? Okay, that's good. Let us recapitulate what we have learned in this module. We discussed what are conjunctions, the usage of the conjunctions and both and not only but also but still and yet. listening practice and a role play in the next module we shall learn the usage of some more conjunctions thank you